<coughs> Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now we're going to be looking at the second portion of the TWAB, which is turn in those tokens. So I'm just going to go right into it. Since Destiny 2 launched, Guardians have been amassing vendor reputation tokens. These could be turned in for legendary gear, which would usually be dismantled for legendary shards and materials. Looking to the future, the team is excited to update the ways in which you earn reputation with ritual vendors and the rewards that come from them. That's it, back to you, which is just in the rewards, dude. The rewards for continuous ritual playlist completion has been a subject that's come up several times as we looked over Beyond Light feedback. We're happy to announce some changes coming soon to Gambit, Crucible, and Strike reward structure. First, we'll be adding two unique weapon rewards to each of the three playlist rituals so six total across all three activities huh. these weapons are in addition to the ones added in season of the hunt and continue to have small chance to drop at the end of each activity second starting in season 13 for gambit and crucible valor and in future seasons for strikes rank rewards will be visible on the ritual vendors each season you will be greeted by a row of rewards progression toward which will be earned whoa what uh each season you'll be greeted by a row of rewards progression toward which will be earned automatically as you complete relevant playlist activities instead of having rank rewards dropped automatically in your loot system loot stream they now will be picked up manually from the vendor lists we will give this much more visibility into what you'll be earning it as you progress and helps you make better choices to where you spend your time so as you guys can see this is basically what they're doing i will say there is no weekly bounty i'm hoping they integrated into like something because if we lose weeklies, I'm going to be fucking mad. Like, obviously, I'm going to be fucking mad. That's, like, one of our biggest sources for Bright Dust. So, if they're just outright destroying it, I'm just... Like, what the fuck is the point? Like, there's no point for me to do my weeklies anymore. Because we don't even have any. I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to, like... <clears throat> I think they're going to integrate it into the game itself. Uh, in a better way. But... It doesn't... Like, I don't see why they would do that. Because... You're already going to be interacting with the vendors, so why not have the weeklies there when you're just like, okay, well, cool, I, I don't fucking know anymore, whatever. Progression is on a per-ritual basis. You can be on rank 10 for Crucible and rank 4 for Gambit, for example. You'll reset your rank right at the vendor by picking up the final reward. Rewards for each individual ritual are as follows. Rank 4 is 3 upgrade modules. Rank 7 is 3 enhancement cores. Rank 10 is seasonal ritual shaders. Changes to 3 enhancement cores after resetting your rank. Rank 13 is 2 enhancement prisms. Rank 16 is seasonal ritual emblem. Changes to 2 enhancement prisms after resetting your rank. And then reset reward. Ascendant Shard changes to Exotic Engram after resetting your rank. Every rank up awards a base ritual Engram just like before. Additionally, each of the above ranks also award a prime ritual Engram. Due to this automated progression, Crucible Tokens and Crucible Token Gifts are no longer needed and will be de-appreciated de into junk that will delete as full stack starting in Season 13, so cash those tokens in before the end of the season. And get ready to earn some masterwork materials. So, this is good for basically just PvP players only. Like, you guys are getting a good deal here. You guys are be gaining able to or being able to gain material while you just play the game mode that you al already play. I think this is a good change, but <clears throat> it still kind of sucks, donkey dick, that you only get one ascendant shard per season. Um, not counting the season pass. So essentially, once you log into the next season, you'll have basically all of these, the ones in this list for, to grind for. And this is coming from someone who's like mostly not a casual in PvP, but like I do I do spend a lot of time in PvP, but not as much as like I, I would. It's not hard to 
rank up your your valor unless they make it higher now but it's not really hard to rank up your valor it's super fucking easy we're gonna see stupid levels at uh, like in the mid level of the of next season because uh, yeah getting the ranks are not gonna be hard at all so the fact that they, you only get one ascendant shard well obviously we don't know but from what it says it changes to an exotic engram after resetting your rank which means that it just turns into an exotic after you get the, your first initial ascendant shard, I think is bogus. Because even if you tell me, oh, but like they have trials to get a uh, material, it takes significantly longer for them to go flawless than it takes us to go into a nightfall and then just kill it to get like one or two ascendant shards. So I don't think that's a fair comparison. This would have been great if basically, let's say, every other rank up, you get an ascendant shard. So it switches out. So like, let's say I'm about to upgrade or I'm about to get my first ascendant shard. The next rank ups, my it's going to be an exotic engram. After that exotic engram, it turns back into an ascendant shard. I think that would, be, would have been a great way. Because as of right now, you only get one, which is literally either one armor piece or not even enough to upgrade an exotic. So this is cool. I like it, especially since they are getting more material over time, because obviously you're getting an upgrade module, enhancement cores and enhancement, enhancement prisms and enhancement cores and prisms change into the rank 10 and 16 after resetting so the shader and the emblem those are an extra prism and core that you're getting so essentially you would be getting what is it uh six enhancement cores and four enhancement prisms that's a really good deal i just think that the one ascendant shard is bogus but that's really it i would love to see the other I would love to see the other, uh, like, uh, Gambit and uh, Vanguard. I do wonder why they didn't put Vanguard into this unless they're changing how Vanguard works altogether, which is a good thing. I think they should change the Vanguard altogether. I think the, the Strike playlist just needs such a big change. Like, it just... I don't know what it is because in Destiny 1, Strikes were great. In Destiny 2, Strikes just feel horrible. I don't, I don't know if it's, like... The fact that each boss has like a fucking immunity stage now, even though we had that in Destiny 1, if I remember correctly. Maybe it's just too much immunity stages, or maybe people just don't enjoy the strikes that we've had. I personally remember like at least three or four strikes from Destiny 1 that I really love to run. And I can't tell you that for Destiny 2. I just really can't. I don't enjoy any of them, but mostly because... They just all suck dick. Like, strike specific loot has been a thing that people we've been saying that Destiny needs for a while because it really does need it. Uh, I don't know. Let me know your your thoughts in the comments below. But these are good changes. I my only my only gripe is the ascendant shard. I think the ascendant shard is just like at this point throwing a bone to a dog. Like it's it's not much, man. Is it's only one. You can't even upgrade an exotic engram with that. Or an exotic uh, armor piece with that. So, yeah. Personally, I uh, I think Bungie could do better and give us a an Ascendant Shard every other rank up would be great. Or even if you wanted to do like, I don't know, after every five rank ups you get one even even then i still think that's way too fucking that's that's too much every other i think is fair but yeah let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets links are in the description below thank you everyone for the support i really do appreciate it and other than that i'll see you guys later